Hi, my name is Casey Galloway. I'm the chef here at Suzu Cafe in Seneca Falls, and I'm going to be making a soup for you today. It's going to be roasted red pepper bisque with a toasted feta crostini. All right, we just need a small saucepan to start with. You want to turn your heat on so your pan's hot before you put your vegetables in. We're going to let that warm up for a second. While we do that, we're going to grab some oil. We're just going to put that in the pan and let it get hot. It's about a tablespoon. When your pan's getting hot, we're going to add our chopped onions. And our two cloves of garlic. They don't need to be chopped. You'll see why later. We're just going to let those saute for about two minutes until they're translucent. Now that our onions are cooked, we're going to add our roasted red peppers. I just chop them out of the can and rinse them a little bit to get some of the extra um, burnt pieces and uh, seeds out of it. Add that right to the pot. When your peppers are heated through, you're going to add some chicken or vegetable stock, whichever you prefer. This makes a good vegetarian soup. Just add that in. We're going to bring that to a simmer and let it simmer for about five minutes. are simmering, coming up to a simmer, we're going to make our toasted feta crostini. So you're going to need a baguette and you just want to cut it into thin pieces, about a quarter inch thick on the bias. And you're going to take some olive oil and we're just going to brush the crostini with the olive oil. And we're going to take some crumbled feta cheese, we're going to put that on top of the crostini. some cracked black pepper over the top of it and a little bit of salt. You don't need a lot of salt because the uh, feta cheese is pretty salty already. We're just going to put this in an oven safe pan and pop it in the oven for 10 minutes on uh, 325 degrees. Now our soup's simmering. So we're going to add one cup of heavy cream. Turn the heat down a little bit so it's not quite simmering. All right, now that we've got our cream in there, we're going to add a little bit of fresh lemon juice. And some sugar just to balance out the acidity the peppers are a little bit acidic now we're going to use our immersion blender and we're going to mix the soup up this is my favorite tool in the kitchen you can use it for so much stuff you can make vinaigrettes you can make soups you can make smoothies with it all right so we're just going to put it in here and we're going to puree our soup until it's nice and smooth but if there's a couple little chunks it's okay because we're going to strain it to get any extra little pieces of seed and skin that are in there out. So we just need our just grab a container and we're gonna put the soup through the strainer just to get the seeds out. Ladles work really good for pushing the juice through the strainer. Our strained soup back into the pot now. And 
and we're going to season it now with a little salt and pepper. And some salt. Mix that up. You should always taste your food for seasoning because even if the recipe says a certain amount of salt, you might like more or less. So, you know, just do what you like as far as the salt. We're just going to taste the soup to make sure the seasoning is right. And I think it needs a little more salt, so we're going to go ahead and add some. Our crostini is done now, so we're going to pull that out of the oven. Now we're going to plate our soup. It's all done. Deli meats are all cooked fresh here, so come on down and give some